A fiery street scene on Medina Street. You're looking at the moments right after a Bellevue plucked two people from a burning car. Crews say they barely made it out alive, but this was no ordinary car fire. This was a Tesla, which is powered by lithium batteries, and they burn longer and more intense than regular cars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Wright. And I'm Monique Minglava. Now, Kyra 7's Lauren Donovan is in Seattle, where the fire department has now launched a specialized unit to fight electric vehicle fires. They call it their energy response team, and it's based here at Station 5 in Seattle's Capitol Hill neighborhood. Fighting electrical fires is different, and as more people are buying, investing in EVs, there's a greater need for these specialized services. These folks were lucky. Having a car catch on fire is a, a pretty significant event if you're the one stuck inside of it. A frightening sight on this Medina Street. A car engulfed in flames after crashing and then flipping upside down. Bellevue Fire says just moments earlier, two people were trapped inside this turned over Tesla. It took crews two and a half hours to extinguish the flames. A typical car fire, uh, we would have had that incident wrapped up uh, in, in probably less than 30 minutes. Is it fair to say that fighting EV fires takes more time and more resources? That's, uh, that's what we're learning, yes, uh, significantly more. Electric vehicles are largely powered by lithium ion batteries, as are many items probably charging right now inside your garage, like e-bikes or weed whackers. Now we're seeing them with the scooters that are available or the segways, et cetera. And when those lithium ion batteries combust, they burn hotter and longer, which means more water to put one out. Fire experts say it takes 12 times the amount to extinguish an EV fire compared to a typical car fire. Big frames. And it's a risk Chloe Park is keenly aware of. So both uh, uh, my husband and I have uh, the Tesla, so we concerned. That's why she always keeps this emergency hammer inside her car. This one. But some Tesla owners remain unfazed. The amount of times that they have are so minimal that it's not a worry for me. The U.S. Department of Energy reports more than 66,000 EVs were registered here in Washington as of 2021. That's fourth highest in the nation. Technology is changing rapidly. We're getting exposed to all sorts of new uh, hazards out there. Reporting in King County, Lauren Donovan, Cairo 7 News.